Hello Magic players, I'm Paul your host and today we're here to talk about something important that's changed with the commander ban list. In the commander format we only have a handful of cards that are not allowed to be used in commander decks for reasons specific to each of the cards. So when cards are either added or removed to the ban list it's important to note that the rules committee has carefully deliberated this decision and that this isn't some sort of knee jerk reaction to a card. And so I ask that we keep commentary on this topic to constructive criticism only and to keep toxic and otherwise negative remarks to ourselves. We're all human. That being said, let's get right into it. The two cards that are added to the ban list are Iona, Shield of Emeria, and the Paradox Engine. Iona, Shield of Emeria was a very powerful lockdown creature who for a long time wasn't added to the ban list simply on the grounds that her mana cost was just too high to make her much of a problem. Unfortunately, this was proven to not be the case, as in Commander there are more than enough ways to cheat around that mana cost. She creates problematic board states where she keeps players from actually playing the game, and in Commander, having three opponents that might share one or more colors can mean that Iona is going to shut off a huge amount of their decks, and this is a direction that the rules committee would like to stay away from. I personally haven't had to face off against too many Ionas in my time, but I do know that she's a pretty popular choice in control shells along things like Linvala, and I understand the impact that she has on the game. Commander is meant to be a fun format where people can enjoy playing the game. It's a social environment rather than a competitive one, and so having an opponent who will literally drop Iona and make it so that you can only play lands and colorless cards, watching as the other players have fun and play magic, well, it's just a turn off to the game. I'd rather go play at another table, so this is a band I can get behind. Next up is Paradox Engine. Paradox Engine is a card that I genuinely saw coming at some point onto the ban list simply due to how absurd of an effect it has on a player's board state. I personally run this in my Seton Cross and Protector deck, and being able to untap all of my mana dorks and everything else every time I've played a spell, in a deck where literally every card is a mana dork, it's just one more cog in an engine that can let me go off to victory in a very absurd way. And yes, I will be the first to admit that it is not a fun card to watch someone else use, resigning to sit back while the other player plays out their whole deck while you sit there with your not as impressive board state, and when they win with it, I feel like it's an experience that I would not want to endure again. This card also being colorless meant any deck can use it, and with the plethora of mana rocks, dorks, and other nonsense at the disposal of players, this thing can easily go nuts. And so, while it is a lot easier to respond to than Iona might be, at the end of the day, I think it's the better format to wave to the engine as it and Iona ride into the sunset. Now then, we do have a third card to talk about here, the Painter Servant, which is now unbanned. This is another card that I actually had never seen too much gameplay of anyway, but again, now we will see what kind of effect it will have on the game state. As the rules committee has stated, quote, Painter Servant is a card that has been discussed for a very long time and it is time to take off the shackles. We feel that there are now more weird and fun uses for the card than there are dangerous ones. The card will provide deck builders with some additional paths to explore in expressing their creativity. So while I do look at this card as somewhat of a trade-off with Iona, I really don't anticipate this card wrecking any havoc in the format. I've heard talk about it being brutal with cards like Grindstone, and so I do understand that some new strategies are going to start popping up trying to break this, especially with how easily tutored it is. Coupled with its low mana cost, I get it, this is going to be a good card. But as we'd seen with Protean Hulk, who was also previously banned and is now unbanned, I do want to see how the commander format reacts to and shapes around this card and the decks that we will see with it before I can really comment on whether or not I think this ban was a good thing. Anyway, I just wanted to make some quick thoughts on this bans and unban situation as I see a lot of talk on the subject on social media and I really wanted to weigh in. I hope you enjoyed this video. What sort of decks do you plan to use Painter Servant in? Were any of your decks affected by the two bannings? Let's discuss this below, but please remember to keep it pleasant and constructive. And as always, I'll catch you all next video.